In this video, I'll be demonstrating the simulation of a single phase fully controlled rectifier fed separately excited DC motor. This is the circuit diagram which we have to model and we will observe the speed, torque and the armature current voltage, source current waveforms etc. Okay, so we'll be moving on to the uh, simulink. This is the model uh, that has been developed for a narrow load with a, sing a full single phase input with a fully controlled means there is a single phase input uh, AC given, four thyristors are given and there is an RL load. Now in this video, we will be showing how to make instead of this RL load, how to make it as a, an RLE load or a DC motor. Okay. So in order to get the model of the DC motor instead of this RL load, first of all we will go for and uh, bring the DC motor here. So we'll be selecting it from the library. Library you can see there are so many uh, uh, blocks like uh, there are toolboxes like simulating toolboxes there. This one and uh, some control system data acquisition etc it's coming to simscape toolboxes there okay in simscape toolbox you can see electrical this is the uh, electrical toolboxes and in electrical you can see some specialized power systems specialized power systems uh, in that uh, you can see fundamental blocks in fundamental blocks you can see machines just opened uh, in this way in order to just uh, show you what all possibilities are there what all machines are there all dc machines the fundamental blocks of all machines comes here okay from this you can see okay from here uh, we can take the dc machine component okay we will uh, this is the dc machine okay so this we will bring it to the uh, model and uh, let us rotate okay and let us flip it it's for just for our reasons flip block left right okay make it here okay now we'll give see what is it here you can see it's a dc machine it's a masked model there is no preset model here no so but if we want we can say take any preset model like this many number of are being given here okay we'll start with a small one small 5 hp motor okay let it be a 5 hp to 40 volt 1750 rpm field with 150 volt for this we need to give the input and what all may be the parameters of this machine it has been loaded here it's preset okay can see armature resistance inductance all parameter values you can see uh, total inertia viscous friction coulomb friction so and so okay so let us fix this it's a uh, the mechanical input it is the torque input what we are going to give okay okay this tl shows the torque input where we need to give the torque input so that uh, we reference input to that so for that we'll bring a constant block here okay so this constant block constant value let it be zero means uh, no loaded mechanical load it is no load that's a meaning okay now we need to give the connections like armature terminal from the converter output we give the armature and that is a separately excited machine so we can we are working it as a separate this the same model can be used for a shunt machine or uh, etc so here we are going to work it as a separately excited motor and uh, we found that it is field is 150 volt so we'll give you we'll give here a uh, dc voltage dc voltage of dc voltage source will bring here okay dc voltage source of say amplitude 150 say 150 no okay here give that okay so that's it 
now here uh, some output we are getting no this is some measurement uh, outputs at measurement port about all thing coming um, we are not sure now so let us fix a scope here place a scope here okay so let there be a scope and just see what it is okay and now the input is there okay input uh, it is actually 240 volt we want so it is uh, 240 so 40 root 2 will come to 339 so we make it to 330 okay so now the input is there converter is there fully controlled converter and uh, the current measurement uh, okay everything is there so just run it okay. now it's compiling okay so we got the output okay three forms here i could see so many uh, many number of lines here means it is a bus actually so we will uh, see from so many inputs are there so we will apply a bus selector there in order to separate it out so we will put a bus selector because we need the torque output so we will see signals in the bus okay there is speed armature current field current and electrical torque there so we'll uh, bring the signal one this speed we select as an output torque we will again select as an output and let there be the armature current also okay just apply okay so three inputs we have selected from this so we will make it to the format like a layout uh, with three input uh, with the three inputs okay now connect this okay so speed and uh, here you could see speed in radians per second okay actually this output what we are getting from the DC machine it is the speed expressed in radians per second suppose we want to measure it in terms of uh, rpm let us multiply the radians per second with uh, 30 by pi no in order to get the uh, rpm so let us bring a gain mod block here so this is a gain block which is to be 30 by 5 okay because you know that 2 pi n by 60 is omega in radians per second so we'll insert it here okay now we will run it Here I could see. These are the informs about the pulse generator output we have given. Let us there is no phase delay. There is not one zero. Okay. No phase delay we have given actually and uh, what about this see. you can see there is an electrical torque ripples are there similarly the current waveforms also you can see let us in between 0 to 6 and there it is so mean value in between this okay and the speed you could see 
can put a display here so we need to represent the speed okay and uh, if we want uh, we can put a delay in the alpha value responding theta we can put it as a 0 0.0, .0 say 1 millisecond, 1.5 millisecond, so 1.5 milliseconds, okay. so here again it should be 1.5 millisecond to be added to this now, so it is same, okay, it's stop, 10, it is 11.5 millisecond now, okay, so let us run it, the waypoint this is the source this is the output current and armature current okay now we change this concept means uh, the mechanical load applied if it is a uh, change to 15 what all thing happens just we put uh, one more display for the torque as well as the display for current also okay. let us see okay that's a uh, output voltage waveform this is the input current supply current in the this values we could see this is the current armature current the mag magnitude of that it is a 12 ambs 12.11 ambs armature current with a torque is 14.94 and 1595 is the speed if we want to plot the reference speed sorry reference torque also along with this we can plot the uh, we can max it we bring in max here and uh, this this one input to the max and uh, we could see this is your torque now this we will multiplex it together these two signals are multiplexed and it is given as the input to this let us run it This is this way for this. Let us do it by limit the data point to the last values. Okay, so let us. We could see this is the reference speed and this is the actual. Not speed, sorry, uh, reference torque and the actual torque. Okay, that's it. These are the waveforms. You can see this is the torque expected one as 15. Now it is electrical torque, it is 14.94. Okay. 